All right, guys, so today we're going to be in the shop working on my wife's 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon that she nicknamed Ruby. Uh, every, over the last couple months, we've been saving up parts till we got enough to actually take the time to work on it. So we got this pile of parts over here that has to go on it. We've got side steps because she's too short to get in it, a tonneau cover so we can use the back, keep stuff dry when we're traveling. Uh, some storage stuff, a bimini top, and a bed mat. So we're going to get all that installed in this video. We're going to start with easier stuff and work our way down. Um, last thing we'll put on is a tonneau cover. And that's because i got to take the top off of this to put the bimini top on. This is a two-piece bimini top, one for the freedom panels and one for the, where the actual back is. So we're going to have to pull the whole actual back off. And we're going to do that. Then we'll install the cover. So I'm assuming that this is actually the bed cover. I don't know. Not the bed cover. The uh, the bed mat. Yes, it is the bed mat. A lot of people ask, why would you have a bed lined bed and then put a bed mat in it? The bed mat so that you don't scratch up stuff that you put in the bed. The bed liners to protect the actual truck. And the bed mat will actually keep stuff from sliding around too god on too much. Now, there is a right way and a wrong way to install these. We're going to install it the wrong way. Not really. Um, just need to, so after we put the tonneau cover on it, we'll leave the tonneau cover on it for a couple of days to let all the Velcro and stuff adhere to the truck really well. Then we'll roll it up and let the sun beat on this and the sun will help form this and flatten it out. This one's not too bad. Um, you can see it's got a little bit of a crease in it, but if it's good, the sun will flatten that out once it gets to hitting it. And then when our luggage and stuff is back here, it won't slide us around as much. So next on the list, and I wouldn't say that we're really modifying the Jeep. We're just adding some little, little touches, stuff that we think will be more useful than anything. I think I'd consider a mod like bumpers and a winch and stuff like that, lights. I guess the side steps can count. The rest of this is just useful stuff. These right here are our kick panel, uh, our little step panels inside the doors, the little steps. These are actual Mopar ones, so they say Gladiator on them. Got two for the front and two for the back. They're here. With some double-sided tape. They're just to protect that little lip in the inside. Uh, we're not gonna put these on yet because I have to go with some alcohol. To clean it off. Let's see what's in our other boxes. So in this box, we should have a bimini top, a little Jeep cup holder things and all of our little storage compartments. Because if not, I don't have any clue where the bimini top is. We got our little cute Jeep cup holder things so that the water drains around them and your cup's not wet when you pull it out. In red, because the trim on this is red. And here we've got all of our little plastic cubbies. So this one goes in front of your shifter. This one goes in the little handle in the front on the passenger side. Uh, the rest of these I'm not 100% sure where to go. So I'm gonna be completely honest with you. This one has rubber inserts. I think this one goes in the center console. A little tray for the center console, which is nice because it's really deep. It'd be nice to have some extra storage in there. 
Um, it comes with constructions. And then you have this one that hangs off the, I think it hangs off the back or the front. So it's just, you know, places so you have a place to put your phone and little gadgets and stuff because this thing doesn't have a whole lot of, a whole lot of spaces for that. And I'm guessing that this is the Bimini dog. It is. This is our Bimini top. It two came with constructions. Your things to tie it down with. Your tops. And a little bag. Now this little bag hangs off the uh, the handle in the front if you want to use it instead of using that plastic piece. We'll decide later. Okay, so move the Red Bull out of the way. Each one of these goes to a certain side. There's, a, there's fronts and backs. Um, because the cup holders are shaped different. Your value customer. Thank you for purchasing. Yep, cool. Um, wish I would have put front or back on there. These are the front ones. Just gonna stick them down in there. Down in there. Take our back ones. We do the back cup holders. Down in there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Next thing we got is our little uh, little tray. Just to add some more storage to this compartment because if you look, it's just one deep hole. So you're taking the add this, and the light lights it up so your tray's lit up. You take the tray out, of course your bottom's lit up. Just fits down in there nice. This little piece right here fits right there. another little compartment right there and like I said we're going in order of easiest to hardest and our seals I was gonna go get some alcohol prep pads or some just rubbing alcohol but it came with pads and uh, they're all marked left and left front right front so we're gonna get to cleaning and installing these so we're gonna take a uh, semi-clean shop rag. Actually, this is a clean shop rag. We're gonna wipe off as much of the mud and dirt as we can from right here. Um, that's the point of these is to protect this spot right here when you step when you get in and out. It's supposed to keep it from getting scratched up. This one's already a little scratched up because we've had it a few months and probably should have done this way earlier. And with one alcohol prep pad per per little side. We're gonna take it. We'll clean it up real good. I don't know exactly how long they are, so I'm just gonna do a good bit of it. And you're supposed to wait five minutes for that to uh, dry. So I figure by the time we get all of them cleaned and prepped, the first one will be the first one will be good and ready. The same thing back here. Wipe it down real good with a the shop rag. Take our alcohol prep pad. that one. 
look good. I'm going to go around and do the other side. And by the time I get done doing that, we should be back over here installing this side. So I'll see you guys when we start installing. All right. So make sure before you take the tape off, we're going to line it up. Figure out about where it's supposed to go. Yeah, the instructions were unclear on this part. Actually, I'm going to find the constructions again because I want to double check. Make sure I'm installing them correctly. Okay. So we go, you line this, you keep going, okay. So you line this, uh, this little arrow right here, you line up. That's how you know where it goes. You line it up with this body line right here. Truthfully, I'm trying to figure out, am I supposed to put this down? And then try to pull. Okay, yeah. the eyeball it and stick it on way because the little piece broke. Probably would have been better doing it that way anyway. One down. I left the other one in the truck. Oh, did it? Look at that. Oh, it's right. <laughs> Goofy goober. This one doesn't have a little arrow. It does have an arrow. Okay. Do I line it up with? The constructions on these are not great. Okay. They're not awful, but they're not great. The arrow goes to the front on this one. Right there. Your best bet to put these on is push the back up against it and slowly push it down from the back so that it sits exactly where it's supposed to. And we're just gonna shut the door. I'm gonna go do the other side and I'll see you guys on the next thing that we're gonna install, which is gonna be the other um, little cubbies on the inside. They came with prep pads too. So that'll be the next thing we do. And then we're gonna start working on the bimini top. We're gonna have to pull. Well, we're gonna at least have to pull the front. I don't know if we're actually gonna have to pull the back to put this one on. It looks like I've got plenty of space. We'll see. We end up having to pull it. We end up having to pull it. Um, it's not that big of a pain in the butt, but it can be a pain in the butt. So I'm gonna get to putting this other side on. I'll see you in a few. Okay, so this little piece right here, it does have adhesive strips. It's supposed to go right here. That's where it's supposed to go. If you travel with Stanley Cups, it's gonna be in the way. And we both travel with Stanley Cups a lot. Uh, they're pretty much what we all, pretty much the only thing we drink out of anymore. Um, I've got one for work and one for the house. This is my one for the house or in the truck or whatever. It, it always has water in it. So without it, they fit all good. There's plenty of space. With it, this thing's pushed over like this and we just don't like it. And to be honest with you, we're just not sure what we would actually put in this one with having the two, the one here 
You've got the one that we're going to put in here that's going to uh, block the airbag, I think. I'm not sure about gluing that in just yet. I wish I knew if somebody had had one and then their airbag went off how that worked out. I don't know if it's going to bust it and send that stuff flying like shrapnel or if it's just going to blow around it. I don't, I don't really know. Is it going to blow it out whole? I assume whoever designed it, designed it to come out a certain way with that airbag being there. But I think I'm going to do a little research on that one before I glue it in. We're not going to be using this one. Uh, we do, like I said, we have our little cubby one in there. And I don't know what we're going to do with it. We might cut the ears off of it and find somewhere else to stick it. Stick it right here. I mean, I don't know. Probably not because that looks dumb. But... We'll either use it or we won't. You know, the whole little kit wasn't but like 30 bucks. So if you don't use all of it, it is what it is. But for now, we're just going to toss that back there. And we're going to talk about this piece right here. Uh, there's one of these that matches it on this side. Um, normally when I'm driving, if I have my phone plugged in, I have a hard time finding a place to put it. And I think had been able to drop it right there in that cubby. Because normally I throw it up here on the dash or I try to stick it over here and it falls down and... Just kind of always in the way. So hopefully, you know, your wire will route just fine and you can stick it in there. This, of course, is for your passenger or, you know, whatever. Eventually, I'm going to get one of them Rhino Lock um, phone mounts for right here. Just so it'll hold the phone if I need it to. But with that Android Auto and stuff, it, I, everything I need is on here. So I don't need it for a GPS. Just want to more of keep it out of the way. So we're going to prep the surface. We're going to glue this one down. This one doesn't get glued down. And for now, I mean, even without using the glue strip, this is going to sit in there. It's not going to come out, especially if you put anything in there, a cell phone, sunscreen, lipstick, whatever your wife puts in there, tampons, just whatever. Whatever goes, ends up going in there, goes in there. Just to give this thing some more upfront storage. I think the next thing we're going to probably end up ordering for this is the the side pockets that aren't mesh. They stretch out pretty easy. Once these stretch out, we'll replace them. So we're going to prep these this surface. This just comes out like that. It's got two adhesive strips. We're going to prep this surface. You know what? We're going to man up. We're going to prep this surface and put it in there anyway. It's a Jeep we die like men if we hit anything. Uh or women, whichever. We'll go ahead and glue that in too. Screw it. So, I'm gonna get some prep pads and prep this up real quick. Now these things smell like, one, they're very, very, very moist. Two, they smell just like brake cleaner. My guys who know anything about brake cleaner, yeah, what it smells like. I wanna prep this surface here. Prep this surface over here. Prep this surface right here. Because we're going to die like men if it becomes a bomb. At least the passenger is going to die like a man if it becomes a bomb. Jesus, that smells like brake cleaner. And we're going to remember that this goes like this. Pull our little. I do have to say that you may have to train change your driving style um, for these right here because me being a tall guy when I drive this thing my leg lights to lean up against that spot and it may make it a little uncomfortable but I'll either a get used to it like I did with my knee sitting up against the full drive shifter or B I'll just have to like shimmy around and figure it out Bam. Just like that. She's stuck down ready to go. And then we take this one. Use the fingernails that we ain't cut yet because we forgot. It's kind of a good thing because. Even with them, we can't get the dang on the thing off. Whoop. There we go. And we're just gonna drop that right down in front of the airbag. 
now we're gonna go do a crash test. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so now we get to pop our tops and work on our bimini top. Take these, set them on the bed. On our nice bed mat, so they won't get scratched up. And then, grab our sunshade. It's also red because, you know, all the trimming is red on this thing. Instructions around with us because apparently these are labeled. Yay. Oh, they're labeled in bunches. So this is 8B, and this is T13. I don't even see any T13s, so I guess we don't need those. And these are T10s, I don't see any of those either. And these are 10Cs. Do you see a couple of C's? Uh, two C's? Okay, guess we only need two C's. All right, guys, so the dumbest part of this top is running these ones across the thing um, without taking your windshield down. Because you gotta like try to force this little piece of paper to come out right down here. It's a bit of a pain in the butt because the paper wants to just bend and not, not, not really do what it's supposed to do after about the first one. So if you're gonna do this, I highly recommend starting on the middle ones because the corner one's not so bad. Flip it over. They got me one side, but I need both sides. You gotta get your hand on it. Once you get it through, take your paper back off. Your two shorter ones like this go there. Your two longer ones go in the corners. So. Take it. Run it around right here. Find a little right there. There's a spot. 
I said the corners are easier. Can you see that? How much easier that was? They go there. Try to make sure you don't pull that all the way through. Leave it there. And that's how you get those through. You take this thing and chunk it as far as you can. I'm kidding. So it can be a bit annoying. We're going to move on to the next ones. So your next one runs right through here. It's going to come out right here. So just, you get it to go through there. Just like that. Okay, so those are sitting where they're currently supposed to be sitting. Your next step is actually put the shade up in your corners. You don't wanna go ahead and run your little T-handle through that one. Shit. No. At some point I'm probably gonna realize I did something wrong here. No, that's good. You wanna take and do your corners. Sorry guys, if you can't tell, this is my first time ever putting one of these on. And so far, it's not going as easy as you think. Somebody just disappeared off in there. Quit family. Okay. All right. So now we're come around to this side. Okay.
this one the same way. Run it through first. And slick it, slink it back up through here. Once you get your hand on it. And of course this will stretch out. As you can see, that's kind of what it's supposed to look like. We've got one's installed here, the two in the center. There, and then the other ones get attached to the back. The two, the three, two or three of these that we need. The four of these we need. So these get attached here and here. So that should be simple. We're gonna start with our bees now. They're pretty, pretty simple. If they're there. ball on the inside on the other one you can make sure your ball stays on the inside two more around to that side. Repeat the process. Really, you can just do that. As you can see, it's starting to tighten it up real good. Once we get the centers on there, it'll all be nice and tight. And we're gonna repeat the same process on the back. I will see you guys once we get the rest of the bimini top on because we still got side steps and this um, bed cover to do and I don't want this video to be 200 years long. So I'm gonna finish putting the front on and we'll get around, I'll put the back on, we'll show it to you. Then we'll get to putting the side steps on and last but not least the bim uh the crap the bed cover the bed cover it's a bed cover so so here it is we got both the front and the back on didn't have to take the back off to put the back one on uh the front one the hardest part is those two really and truly and you have to make sure when you put them on that there's a bolt right in there that your um windshield bolt right there Make sure you go on this side of it, or you won't be able to slide it over far enough, and you got to pull it out and redo it. Then the stupid thing breaks on you, the little paper breaks on you, and then you get a little grumpy and upset, and it's, it's not a good time anymore. But it's not too hard to put the tops back on. It does make it a little more difficult. You just got to kind of pull it out of the way as you get your hand in there and flip the switches, switches, levers. But we got our little, all our little cubbies installed 
there and oop, not wrong part and in there and our little jeep things so next we're putting on the tonneau cover because i believe it will be easier than putting on the side steps or really and truly i just don't want to lay on the ground just quite yet to put the side steps on um that's just all there is to it i just don't feel like doing it yet so we're gonna put the tonneau cover on next since we didn't have to take the top off then we'll move to putting the side steps on and we'll be done so once i get this all unboxed and we get to installing it now I'll, I'll see you guys then okay so we're gonna put our um bed cover on now our tonneau cover it's pretty simple first thing you gotta do is mount the top into the tracks now we're gonna work on squaring the tracks out just right So, make sure that they're the same distance from the end. Make sure they're sitting where they need to be. That's pretty good. close. Of course we're following our instructions. So we have our clamps. They need to be 10 to 15 inches from each end. Two ten mils.
All right, so it helps if you use the uh, the correct one, the correct clamp. I was using the wrong clamp on that side. I'm supposed to use these for this truck. Just hand tighten them. You know, tighten down your hands. 15 inches from the front, 15 inches from the back. Repeat the same process on the other side and I'll show you guys what it looks like all closed up. All right, as you can see, we got the tonneau cover on here and this, it was simple, but it wasn't simple. Um, There's a lot of back and forth, shimmying it around, closing it, moving it around to square it up, but it's good and tight. It's gonna stretch a little bit in the heat and then in the sun and it'll fit better. We, got, we made sure all our seals seal up pretty well. Um, the only spots that may be of some concern will be between the bed you know that's it's always a concern I don't know if I'm gonna do anything about that we'll see we'll see how waterproof she is if it needs some more sealant we'll figure out how to seal it up put some weather stripping in there or something if we need to but for right now it's on there it works it looks good it's nice and tight and it's supposed to help with gas mileage, but we'll see what happens. We'll see if our gas mileage goes up. We average like 17 now. A um, little more if we're on a trip. But we'll see if it helps get us a little bit better gas mileage. We're going to move on to putting our side steps on now. They're in this box right here. guys what they look like that's them we're gonna get them installed I don't know which side's which or if there is a side reference we'll find out but we're gonna get these uh, old rock sliders off, get these installed in their place. It's a little easier for her to get in and out of, hopefully. Hopefully they've got enough drop that she can actually get her foot on there and stand on them. But I'm gonna get some tools, find out what I need to take them off so we can put these on.
ladies and gentlemen, after a long day, we got her done. She's got her side steps. She's got her bimini top. She's got all her little cubbies. Cubbies and her center things. And she's got her tonneau cover on. Her bed, little bed mat. So the wife's set up for success now. It took a little longer than I expected, but it, it happens that way. Um, but it's done. You know, like I said, I don't know if I would call these modifications or just upgrades, just regular old upgrades, but you know, it is what it is. I want to thank you guys for watching. Y'all remember to like and subscribe. Y'all stay frosty and I'll see you in the next one.